In this example, we will consider the conservation angle momentum as applied to a um, rotating disk system. Two identical ro solid rotating disks around the same axis, but have with two different rotation rates. Omega 1 equals minus 10 radians per second, omega 2 equals 10 radians per second. Or force together and rotate constantly. What is the final rotation rate of the two disks? All right, so this is a angular momentum conservation, conservation angle momentum problem. So let's basically draw the um, two disks. You have a disk one, solid disk, okay? And it's gonna rotate with min minus 10 radians a second, which is usually in the clockwise direction, minus 10 radians per second. And then you have another disk like this, it's rotating. In the, in the opposite direction, basically at 10 rays a second. All right, okay, and it's also solid. And they rotate around this common axis, all right? And this is the initial situation, and the final situation is, the final situation is that you have these two disks. Uh, let's draw this carefully. and they rotate together with some omega equals question mark. Okay, this is final omega. This is initial omega one initial, omega two initial. All right, okay, so this is the uh, initial position, final state. Let's write down the conservation momentum equation. L initial, L one, sorry, L one initial plus L two initial is equal to L1 final plus L2 final, where L is the angle momentum, all right? So in this case, it is identical. So it can be I1 omega 1 initial plus I2 omega 2 initial is equal to, in this case, it's combined together, I1 plus I2 of omega, let's call this final, all right? So this is, color, this is the uh, combination of two, but because they are identical, I1 is equal to I2, which we shall just call I for, uh, for, for now. So it's gonna be I of omega one initial plus I of omega two initial is equal to two I omega final. All right, so then this becomes just basically I of omega one initial plus omega two initial is equal to two I omega final. Okay, let's plug in omega one. So this one is gonna be minus 10 times I plus 10 is equal to two I omega final. I's cancel out, I get two, two omega f is equal to what? Minus 10 plus 10, zero, all right? So that gives me that omega f is equal to zero, all right? Okay, so that was it. Uh, that was a pretty easy problem. Uh, hopefully that will help you with the other ones.